Yaya Cardona is here uh, to tell us what curated events Create Jacks has listed for this weekend and next week. Yaya. Yes. Buenos dias. Good morning, everyone. Listen, I'm excited to be able to bring the voice to Create Jacks live. And I want to let you guys know what is going on this weekend in Jacksonville, starting with Friday, September 1st. Mm -hmm. It's the end of summer, Lou. I'm so sad it's the end of summer. But Wicked Barley is having a cool party at their backyard starting at 5 p.m. And it's $25. I absolutely love Wicked Barley if you haven't checked them out. It's a really cool bar, family friendly as well. Also on Friday, September 1st, I am excited about this event. Candace Clark created this cool event. It's called Bless Your Soul Pop-Up. If you're into sneakers, this is the event you don't want to miss. Um, a lot of local artists design really cool sneakers and are going to be showcasing their art. This is completely free, and it's next to Sweet Pete's in downtown starting at 6.30 p.m. This is also a family-friendly event, okay? And this weekend, it's a long weekend, so if you don't have plans, well, guess what? 904 Happy Hour has plans for you. Taco and Tequila Fest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. can't go wrong with taco or a little tequila. And it's going to be at Met Park starting at 12 p.m. It, there is a cover free. It's $40 to go in, but the lineup is amazing. Uh, they have Lupe Fiasco, Big Boy, and some amazing local artists as well, so check that out. And on September 7th, if you're into the arts, there's an exhibit opening by Elisa Har Harkins um, at Crisp Alert Art Museum. That's in St. Augustine. So, you know, you got to go a little bit mm -hmm, of a ride. Mm -hmm. It's only 30 minutes, people. And it starts at 7 p.m. And that is free. And I absolutely am excited about this next festival on my dad's birthday, September 9th. Okay. Galaxy Festival. It's a really cool science festival. At James See, Weldon Johnson Park. I thought you were going to be, it's like about Galaxy phones. And I was going to be like, <laughs> I, I'm an iPhone user. I can't go. You already know iPhone till we die. <laughs> right. I um, can't go. But it's not that. <laughs> no, it's about the stars and the galaxy. Okay. And this is for the kids, really. And I'm really excited. You're going to be able to see um, and meet women scientists and farmers like Ashanti Green. Okay. And that starts at 11 a.m. And that is completely for free at James Weldon Johnson Park. And I am definitely adding that on my plate because I'm yes. a little kid at heart. I mean, look, if it's for the kids, Wu Tang is for the kids. I'm hey. there. <laughs> I'm there. And you know, 904 Day is coming up. Woo -woo. Okay. September 4th, for those who don't understand 904 Day, it's September 4th. <laughs> <laughs> and there is uh, several things going on all around downtown Jacksonville, not just downtown Jacks, all around Jacksonville. Um, so you make sure you check it out. Um, there's going to be more on this on your segment, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm, about 904 mm -hmm, Day. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, next Wednesday is Art Walk. Come on. In downtown Jax, okay? And I'm excited about John. I don't think a lot of people know that the Jesse DuPont Center uh -huh. is one of the pub, one of the hubs for Art Walk. Yeah, yeah, And so go check it out. You can start at the Jesse, or mm -hmm. you can just go to James Weldon Johnson Park. Either way, there's going to be vendors and artists in between. And that is uh, next Wednesday, September 6th. From starting at 5 p.m. to 9 p.m., completely free and family friendly. Yes, yes, yes. My big question for you is Taco and Tequila Festival. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite tequila? Ay, Dios mío, nanny. Um, well, I got to be honest. I'm Puerto Rican, but I like to drink uh, Milagros. Okay, I'm just asking for yeah. me. Cause I like, like to drink because it's, nice, it's a little light. And I'm one of those that I need to have my tequila chilled. Uh -huh, I can't uh -huh. have it like no, 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 room no, temperature. No, why room temperature? You know, no. we work in radio. We gotta, yes. you know, we gotta take Soothe care the of our vocal voice. Yes, exactly, yes, 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 so. yes. See, I'm much more of a mezcal man, but, mm, um, but I like know, that too. Mezcal, mez, mezcal is is smoky. Mm, yeah. Do you it's like it with salt or no salt? No salt. Yeah, Come I on. don't like salt either. Yeah, <laughs> don't put salt with mezcal. The no. tequila is just perfect by itself. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So all of these things, I'm planning to go to a couple of them, and I'm sure. I will see you there. You already know. There's something else I should talk about. And I was like, you know, we need to talk about it mm -hmm. because this is your festival. Yes. Please tell me all Viva about it. Viva la fiesta. Viva la fiesta. Jax, uh, to be, <laughs> if you want to find it on social media. It's Jacksonville's only Hispanic festival. Okay. And this year I'm celebrating the fifth anniversary. Uh -huh. And thank you to our title sponsor, the Jesse DuPont Fund. We're able to 
create this festival and bring it to the community for free wow. for the fifth year. Okay. Um, and this year I'm bringing a huge salsa legend. His name is Charlie Aponte. Okay. Yes, from El Gran Combo. I know even even if you don't know Spanish, I'm sure you have heard yes, yes, several yes. of their songs because they're a legend, le- legendary salsa band. But he is on his own now, so he's going to be singing all their hits and his um, own hits too. Is there a dance floor? There, the whole park, honey. The okay. whole park. And and if you haven't seen, I suggest you to go to our website and see all the pictures of everybody dancing. I'm definitely going to be there because, like, I, I could cut the rug. Oh, okay. Now. I, I know a little salsa. <laughs> I know a little bit, and I haven't found a whole lot of place to show off my skills in Jacksonville. We're I mean, going to work on that. I know. Can, can we work on that? We are. There are some dance organizations here, mm-hmm. um, 904, Salsa Beat. They do some events. Um, they actually did a really cool event last Sunday at the beach. Okay. And oh, it was man. at nighttime, and everybody was dancing bachata. It was so beautiful. Okay. So there are dance groups here, Salsa Dance Groups, that they are the ones that are kind of mm-hmm. keeping the Salsa movement here in Jacksonville. So I suggest... That you look for that. You got to connect me with that because, I'm going like, because because that's my I like the bachata. Like I, I like it. Mm-hmm. It's not my thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, I like it, but like salsa, salsa is sexier. Come on. And the salsa is, is not that easy to dance. Bachata mm-hmm. is easier. It's like yeah, totally. One, two, three, tap to the left. One, right, two, right, three, right, tap right. to the right. But salsa is more like complicated. It's the guys and the men are the ones that. That's the only time that you can really control a Latina yeah. is on the dance floor because <laughs> the men, is you guys are the ones that are supposed to direct us with right. your hands. So you guys tell us when to turn, right. when to make a left by, by your hands. And so I, I find that very sexy. And, um, you know, there's there's all kind of different side sizes. There's um, Bugaloo, which is a little bit different. Um, so come on out to Viva La Fiesta. I'm going to have a dance school give free classes okay so that way when charlie aponte comes on at eight o'clock at night you already well at least we're have ready. the basic we're ready yes I, I am so sorry i didn't get this in the last segment but i'm glad we stopped and came back to it because it's important and everyone should go yes. thank you so much yeah yeah